Everybody. Church at Corinth and all his brethren. That means all believers in Jesus Christ. He's speaking to us today. He said, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which also ye have received, wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. If you keep in remembrance, in memory, what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. Yes. For I delivered unto you first all that I that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, yes. according to the scripture. Thank you. And that he was buried. And that he rose again the third day according to the scripture. Our Father and our God, we come now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. No other help we know. If thou would draw thyself from us, Father, where would we go? Father, we pray, God, that you would keep me humble low before you, God. Father, that you take this vessel of clay, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, that you mold my lips, God. That you allow the Holy Spirit to come up, God. In the name of Jesus, God, and do what you will have it to do on today, God. I put myself aside, Father God. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, that you will get all the glory, the honor, and praise that's through your name. We ask you now to bless your people. Father, here, there, and everywhere. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 You know, I was thinking something. Every one of us got a name. You know, I don't care who you are, you got a last name. Your name could be Branch, Harris, Scott, Hinton, Cannon. Huh? Barnes. Huh? Whatever your name is. O'Neill. Yes. Huh? Coley. Huh? Amen. Black Break. Amen. Whatever your name is for. Whatever your name is, Drury. Amen. Your name has what? Power. Yes. But what I love about their names have a way of creating identity and it's how we are known by those around us. Mm-hmm. Now we ain't been around uh, Vanderbilt and we ain't been around Woodrow Wilson and we ain't been around the President of the United States but but praise God in our community today is a name. Uh, amen. Everybody knows you by your name. Yes. They might not know your first name but they don't know your last name. All right. All right. Uh-huh. A lot especially when it comes to God and his character. Yes. Learning to know God comes to God. Lear, knowing, learning to look, know God by his numerous names opened the door to a deeper relationship yes. with him. Come on. Amen. Come on. As I asked you a few minutes ago, do you know him? Amen. How deep do you know him? Amen. It creates a deeper intimacy. Trust and an understanding. Yes. Now the Old Testament of the Bible is especially rich with the meaning names of God. Names have a special meaning or purpose attached to it. For instance, God changed Abram's name to Abraham yes, to give him purpose and to remind him of God promised to him. Yes. Amen. To make him father over many nations. Yes. I got a question to you today. Uh, what's his name? Yes. What's his name? Amen. Paul was writing to this church at Corinth. Amen. A church body, amen, that was full of everything that you can imagine. Yes. Come on, somebody. A church body that was struggling with their emotions and their environment, surrounded by corruption and every conceivable sin, they felt the pressure to adapt. All right. All right. Do you hear what I say? Do you know it? They felt the pressure to adapt to whatever was going on around them. I mean, they knew that they were free in Christ, but what did this freedom mean? How should they vow, uh, view idols or sexuality? 
what should they do about marriages? Uh, amen. Every action was a reaction. Uh, come on, somebody. Amen. Paul struggled. Amen. He began to write this letter. Amen. He confronted them with their sins uh, and their need to corrective actions. Uh, amen. To clear commitment to Christ. Uh, amen. Paul dealt with immorality of certain church members uh, and issues of lawsuits among the Christians. Uh, everywhere you go, there's trouble on every side. Amen. amen. And Paul, amen, had the answer. Amen. If you want to know what the answer is, all you got to do is get in these 66 books. Amen. amen. Paul let them know. He said, Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father. Amen. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul wanted everybody to know that he had a experience like nobody else had. Paul had an experience, praise God, on the road to Damascus. Uh, he didn't have an experience like the rest of them had. Uh, all of us have different experiences. Amen. With Christ Jesus. Uh, uh, he might not got you where he got me. Uh, but praise God, he got you somewhere. Uh, do you know this morning? Uh, hallelujah. Paul said uh, he was breathing out cruelty. Come on, somebody. Uh, he was slaughtering. Uh, amen. Every disciple that he could get up with his hands on. Uh, amen. He would take him to the house. Please uh, get a letter, praise God, uh, to put him in jail. Uh, somebody locked up today. Uh, ain't even no bar sales. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, somebody locked up in the mind today. Uh, when he told to let this mind be in you, uh, which was all so in Christ Jesus. Uh, do you know him today? Uh, Paul, Paul, Paul uh, was named Saul, uh, but just like Abraham, uh, his name was changed uh, because God. I gave him purpose and identity. I got a question to ask you. Have you changed your name? Come on, somebody. A name is so important. I want a name that's above every name. In 1 Corinthians 15 and 1, Paul said, Moreover, brothers, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand. What is he saying right there. I'm so glad you asked me. Paul said, I declare unto you, I make a full state, safe standpoint. I want to make it known. I want to make it clear who you are serving. The one that gospel which I preach. I ain't preaching nothing but Jesus Christ and him crucified. Do you know him on today? Yes. My God. He began on to tell them uh, what you have received therein where you stand, right where you stand in, uh, the space that you occupy, uh, the space that you rest in. Uh, do you know who allowed you to rest today? Uh, amen. Which you are saved uh, if you keep in remembrance uh, what I have preached unto you. Uh, do y'all hear me today? Uh, I ain't preached nothing but the gospel. Uh, come on somebody. Uh, it ain't no message. Uh, if you ain't preached his world and his resurrection. Paul, tell him, look here. I want you to know about in Revelation, amen, 22 and 13. He is the first and the last. He is beginning of the end. He is the keeper of creation. He is the creator of all. Come on, somebody. Psalm 121 said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I the Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. When the wicked in my enemies and my foes came up against me and stumbled in that way, the walls are right up against me. In this I will be confident. For one thing I desire. I ain't desired it from nobody else, but I'm desired it of the Lord, and that will I seek after. Come on, somebody. The song 121 said, that's Psalm 27 that I just incited. But Psalm 121 says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill from which come my help. All of my help coming from the Lord. Did you hear what I said? Which may help and he will not suffer, not put to remove. 
He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he keepeth Israel. He shall not neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. I got a question to ask you. Who is your keeper on today? Is it God Almighty? He's the architect of the universe and the manager of all times. He got all time in his hand because in Genesis, Genesis 1 and 1 it says about the Lord created both heaven and earth. Come somebody. Hey, he is. He was. He is. And he'll always be unmoved. Come on somebody. Unchanged. Come on somebody. Undefeated. And never outdone. Have a guy to witness in here. He was dead and he brought life. Come on, somebody. He reigns and he brings peace. Yeah. Or do y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He's the flow like a river. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Through it all, yeah. I learned to depend on Jesus. Yeah. He is my risen Savior. Yeah. He belongs and he brings power. Yeah. Psalm 29 and 11 says, The Lord will give strength unto his people. Oh. Who you going to get your strength from? Oh. I get it, get it, get it, get it. I get it, get it, get it from the Lord. He brings my strength. Ephesians 6 and 10 say, Find the brother. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that you'll be able to stand against the wiles of a devil. You can depend on. Oh, yes, you can depend on Jesus. Come on, somebody. Do you know him today? I serve him because. His bond is low. What you talking about, Pastor? Everything about him is low. How do you know that? Because the words say so. Come on, somebody. Jesus is low. Do you know what I'm talking about? He is the apple of our eye. What are the characteristics of love? He said, though I speak with tongues of men and angels and have not charity, I will come as a Sound and brass and a tickling silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
fucked about. Yeah, I'll write the wrong stuff. Come on, somebody. He is the road to Chef Rock. Come on, somebody. He's the whole release. Come on, somebody. Well, let me tell you how. He's the whole release. Hallelujah. They had a, a war going on. If you look where, where you look, there's a war going on. Praise the Lord. Amalekites was about to win the war. But God gave Moses a way to defeat the enemy. Come on, somebody. That's what we got to stay unified. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Do you know him? They got out there fighting. Come on, somebody. Moses, God gave Moses a revelation to just sit down on the rock. Hallelujah. This rock is Jesus. I'm going to sit right here. And as long as Moses has his hand up. Hallelujah. There's a light one to walk. I think it's number 23 or 25. But they begin to win the walk. But Moses got tired. There was some strong people that they were fighting out there. Come on, somebody. You got some strong hope there that don't care who you are. But it'll cause you to flip and buff. But if you ain't got no power in you, hallelujah. If you ain't got enough strength in you, it says the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade. Come on, somebody. Matthew 1 and 2 said, He came down to 
huh, through the generation of Abraham, huh, who begot Isaac, huh, Isaac begot Jacob, huh, and Jacob begot Abraham. Huh. Come on, somebody. Huh. Amen. Amen. Isaac, huh, amen, begot, begot Jacob, huh, and Jacob begot Judas. Huh. He kept on coming huh, as many have forgot his promise. Let me tell you something. Don't you forget the promises of God. Oh, All right. Don't forget him. I don't care how long to tell you. Mm -hmm. yes. Praise God. He said he was coming. Yes. And do you know him? Do you trust him? Do you take him in his yes. word? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. But Jesus kept coming yes. down through 40 and 2 generations. Yes. You need to look at somebody and tell them what God thought. With God's God. God. He will finish. He will finish. Come on, somebody. He came on down to the generation of Nasser, uh, Boaz, and Rahab, and Obedad, uh, of Ruth, and Jesse, and King David, who was the king of Israel. Come on, somebody. Hey, he made a promise to him. Come on, somebody. The big covenant he made with David. Come on, somebody. Babylon was in slavery because of their sins. Hey, Amen. Don't let your sins keep you in slavery. Hey, Amen. Who the son set free in the name of Jesus is free on thee. Hey, Amen. He was just still coming. Hey, Amen. Until they came out. Hallelujah. Came out of bondage with the hand lifted up. Yeah. You can't give nobody no glory yeah. except for Jesus the Christ. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Tell somebody what God starts. Yeah. He finishes. Yeah. He'll finish yeah. it. Yeah. He is the Alpha and Omega. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He came down yeah. when he got down to Joseph, yeah. who was Mary's husband, yeah. of whom he was born. Yeah. Amen. To call him Christ. Yeah. Amen. In Hebrews. Yeah. Amen. 10 and 5 say uh, wherefore when he coming into the world uh, he said uh, sacrifice and offerings uh, come on somebody uh, that would have not uh, but prepare me a body uh, I'm sick of them uh, giving me lame stuff uh, I'm sick of them giving me uh, lame praises uh, I'm sick of them giving me lame uh, thank you Jesus uh, hallelujah uh, I'm sick of them saying Lord uh, whatever you do uh, to thee It'll be all right. I'm sick of them lying to my face. Come on, somebody. I'm sick of them saying they're one way in church and then another way for to get out the door. Come on, somebody. He said, but I got to prepare a body just for me. Look what God got for you. It's for you. He came to recognize or reconcile you back to God. And I also mean, Amen. through faith in the blood of Jesus, you will escape the wrath to come. Joyfully look forward to heaven. Amen. And you will live an everlasting, overcoming life. Mm -hmm. God will be your father. Instead of your enemy. Yeah. Don't you know he can be both? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Yeah. He your father. As long as you're doing right. Yeah. But hallelujah. He your enemy. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you want to shift. Yeah. Come on, somebody. You better shift in the atmosphere yeah. of God. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah. Come but on, it's come. only through the blood of Jesus. He did what no other could do. First mm -hmm. Peter 2 and 24 say. Who his own self. Mm -hmm. Good gracious of the Lord. Ain't talking about nobody else. Mm -hmm. Through his own self. Mm -hmm. Bear our sins. In his own body. Jeez. On the tree. He done put an invitation up there. He done put somebody up there to go in his place. Yeah. He went on in his place. Uh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. You let everybody else go. Say, you go. <laughs> you go. I, I'm going later. But you go. You better get in that line while you can get in that line. Yeah. While the fire is still growing. Yeah. Don't be like the man that stayed down in that lane for 38 years. And, and Jesus asked him, why you see a land here? He said, look, every time I try to get in the pool, uh, yeah. it's somebody that comes up. Uh, over me and can't get in. Amen. You better get in. Amen. But I thank God Amen. for grace and mercy. Amen. He said, look here. Take up your bed uh -huh. and walk. Now here this man ain't walked in 38 years. 
Come on, somebody. Amen. 38 years he's been in bondage. Amen. Seems like he would have got tired of bondage after a while. Amen. But God saved him for just a time. Amen. And then he can show us how great he is. Now this man been laying down on a bed uh, A cart uh, amen, Whatever he had uh, But God called it a bed uh, Take up your bed uh, What you been sleeping in uh, What you been walling in uh, What you been moaning in uh, What you been groaning in uh, What you been doing what you want to do uh, What you been making mistakes uh, And you making excuses uh, Pick it up, Pick it up. Thank you, Lord. And walk with it Now I ain't never Held on to nothing. But how am I holding on to a bed when I can't stand up? You know what I mean? But he forgot who he was All talking right. to. Yeah. Come on, somebody. God said, pick it up and take up that bed and walk your afflictions. You got to walk this thing out. Come on, somebody. Your trouble. You got to walk it out in the name of Jesus. Your heartache. You got to walk it out. Your praise. You got to walk it out. Your sanctification, you got to walk it out. Your lying, stealing, and cheating, you got to walk it out. God will draw you out when you let him. Come on, somebody. Pick it up now. And tell nobody else. But I'm telling you to pick up your bed and walk with it. This man had to stand up and never stood up. Glory be to God. Don't you see him now? He's standing up. He might have had a little wobble. But I don't think he had no wobble. He could wobble, wobble, wobble. Because the Lord had told him to pick up. Because it's been a word in your life. Hallelujah, everything you ready. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Amen. I can imagine that he picked that bed up. Amen. Might not know which way we're home. Oh, but he didn't oh, tell me to go home. He oh, said, pick it up yeah. and walk with it. Yeah. Yeah. Up, you just yeah. got to walk with it. You yeah. got to walk with your anointing. Yeah. You got to walk with your power. Yeah. You got to walk with your anointing. Yeah. Pick it up. He went on about his business. He didn't need the water to be stirred uh, yeah. no more uh, because God had already uh, freed him. Uh, ain't you glad uh, that he couldn't get down to the water? Uh, yeah. to go get God. Uh, but God spoke a word uh, in his life uh, yeah. and he was free. Uh, yeah. And he the son set free. Uh, yeah. Glory be to God. Uh, is free indeed. Uh, yeah. I don't care what your struggles are. Uh, Jesus uh, will fix it. Uh, the whole with Jireh, uh, he's out of uh, come on, somebody. Yeah. Your home needs it. Yeah. Every once in a while, you got to wave oh, your banner yeah. and say, Lord, I'm down here. Yeah. I need you to come yeah. see about me. Yeah, he is here. Hallelujah. Yeah. By whose stripes? Already. Mm. You. Come on. And I. Mm -hmm. Come on. A heat. Yes, now, what amazes me is soon as we get out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soon ever we ask God for whatever we need. All right. All right. As soon as He gives us what we ask for. Come on, man. As soon as He blesses. Oh, yeah. As soon as we can be a light in the midst of darkness. Okay. As soon as He done spoke a word to uh -huh. us. And He said, You're free now. Yeah. You can take up every bit of that stuff and get rid of it. But as soon as He gets us free, we go back. It's just like a tote bag. You pick it all up, uh, put it back on your shoulder, uh, and there you are. Uh, 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 he said, Then I tell you uh, to leave it all there uh, at the cross, at the cross, uh, where I first saw the light, uh, at the burdens of my heart, uh, never run away. Uh, you were never saved. Uh, I received my sight. Uh, I'm happy all the day. Why? Because he freed me. He told me to take up my bed. All them afflictions that I had. Take it up, take it up, take it up. Take it up. I got all power. Whatever you need, God got. Do you know? What you need? Just tell God about it. What you want? He gives you the desires of your heart. But he ain't giving you nothing. 
for heartache and pain. Yeah. If you don't do the work, that's right. Sleeping and sliding and crippling and crawling. Come by to somebody to tell you, I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise the Lord. I ain't studying what you come to do today. Because my Alpha and Omega has freed me. Come on, somebody. He will despise and reject me. A man of sorrow has severe pain. He was a greed, acquainted with dreams, and he was despised, scorned by all. But come on, somebody. That didn't stop Jesus huh, from doing his mission. Huh, and we esteem him not. Huh, he's a suffering servant huh, all for you. Huh, and I, huh, come on somebody. Huh, Isaiah huh, 53 and 5 say, huh, but, 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 huh, he was wounded huh, for our transgressions. Huh, bruised for our iniquities. Huh, just think about that for a few minutes. Huh, he came down through 40. Huh, praise God, generations. Huh, came on the lead all the way down was born in the stable didn't have no bed and lay in bed but he didn't stop right there now feel me make a manger out of pig's straw out of pig's trout amen and then after all that amen and made him a bed he didn't have no clothes come on somebody but his mom wrapped him up in swallowing clothes do you know him? What he did for you over 2,000 years ago? You can't get him mixed up with nobody else. And I can't either. Because what he does, nobody else. Amen. 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 Do you know the chastisement of our peace? Huh? Whatever we do. Our peace. Yeah. We couldn't get no peace if it weren't for you. Come on. Yeah. Our yeah. peace of child. The weapon of our peace yeah. was upon him. Yeah. And with his stripes. Come on. We are yeah. here. Look, you ain't putting nothing on me. Yeah. You hear know I me? Mean? Amen. God has already gave me everything Amen. that I need. Yeah. Huh? He took it to the cross for me. Bruised yeah. for my yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chastisement of our peace. Yeah, yeah. Huh? We didn't have no peace if we weren't with Jesus. We wouldn't yeah, have no peace. Keep your peace. Yes, There's something Jesus gave you. Yeah. Don't let the enemy steal your peace. Yeah. Amen. If he steal your peace, he got you. Yeah, yes, I invite you today to come to Jesus. Do you not accept him as your Lord and Savior? For soon and very soon. We're going. We're going. You see the king? Yeah. That's why we got to tell everybody yeah. about Jesus. Yeah. Coming yeah. down through 42 generations. Yes. Huh? To a mother and an earthly father. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But he, amen, did what nobody else could do. Amen. Huh? Yeah. He saved us. Did he save you? Did he save you? Did he save you? Did he save you? Yes. Did he save you? Yes. Did he save you? Yes. See, you said he saved you. Now, when he saved you, you don't go back and do the same old stuff. No, come on. Come on. We become a, what, a new creature. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. huh? The things I used to do. Yes, sir. I don't do them no more. You ain't make me do them no more. I done got over that. Yes, sir. I've been changed yes, by the renewal. Oh, my no. Come on, somebody. You got to know. Uh, amen. You can understand. Uh, if you don't know, it's simple. As ABC. Admit that you are sin. Uh, admit that you need Jesus the Christ. Uh, come on, somebody. Believe in your heart that he died and God raised him up on the third day. Then confess it out of your mouth. For truly then, you will be saved. Huh? Oh, the sermons that we preached before. Yes. Asking you, do you know him? Yes. Can he trust you? Come on. Huh? Yes. Now, back. Do you know him? Amen. Huh? We know him. And we want to be more like him every day of our life. It doesn't matter what you think yes. or what you say. Amen. There are some things. All right. I may not know 
And there are some places that I can't go. Yes. But there's one thing, one thing for sure. My God is
know. Personally, I want you to know. I desire you to spend time with. I desire you to talk to. And I desire you to tell him he's able ah. to do a scene that bonded more than we can think to ask. Thank you, Lord. We serve a big God. A great big God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God is still in the kingdom. And we still serve a great big God. Not that we're still here. From there, one of the rest of the Shake the dust off. Come on, come on, come on. down to the next. Come on, man. Come on somebody. Yeah. You keep him yeah. at the forefront of your heart. Yeah. Our heart got to be so yeah. hey, hey, yeah. Woo. Hey. Made a heart of flesh. Come on, yeah. Come on. Yeah. So his Holy Spirit can dwell. Come on, come on. That it can spring up come like on. a well of living yes. Water yes. on the inside. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. We're going to see the king. Yeah. Do y'all know that? Mm -hmm. huh? Good evening. Good afternoon. Yeah. God bless you. One and all. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. We are. We are going. No more dying. No more dying. There. We are. 
no more die. We are born to see the King. Stand on your feet. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for your people. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the one that accepted your word, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Way down in their hearts. Somebody is looking for something, Father God, that only you can supply. So we put it in your hands, God. Somebody need to trust in you even more, God. If you just twist their minds, their heart, and their soul, God. That they can be more like you, God. Someone traveling the road, God, don't know which way to go. But Father, you told us to go right. And stay on the right road. Yes, Lord. Lord, let them stay on the right road yes, for yes, yes, Hallelujah, Jesus. God. Those that you join together, God, let no man put us on. Yes. Father, we pray for every youth here today, God. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, that you will continue to hold them in the ark of your faith, God. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone, God, under the sound of my voice, oh, God, bless them right now, God. For whatever we need, God, we know you are able to supply. Yes, yes. We surrender our right yes, unto you. And thank you for bringing, oh, God, the ones that were on the highway back home, God. Nobody didn't do it but you. We thank you, God. And we give you the glory. We praise you. Thank you for your word. It's a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our path. Thank you for letting us know, God, that we got many examples in the word of God that we can look to, God. Most of all, we look to you, the author and the finisher of our faith. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Deliver your people, set them free, Father God, so that who the Son set free is free indeed. We praise you and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, if you would just take us back to our de destinations, safe and sound, Father, we'll give you the glory, the honor, the praise. For it's in the name of Jesus the Christ, your blessed Son, that we pray and we praise you. With uplift the hands, Jude 1 and 24, say, Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with a seed in you. To the only wise God, I would say, yes. be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Let everybody say amen. Amen, amen. amen to God. Amen.